Hey guys, it's Jane from Legend Gaming. In this video, I want to talk about the best guns in Battlefield Hardline. Just going to be kind of going through a list of them. Uh, these are the weapons that I think are the best ones in the game. Obviously, this is a opinion video. These are mostly based off statistics, again, but I know a lot of people have personal preference, so uh, that comes into play a lot too. Um, the first one here is the honorable mention to start off. I wanted to just start this intro clip off with this gun. Um, normally, I wouldn't consider this one of the best guns in the game, but this intro clip I got with the BLK is, was just so nice. And uh, this gun sometimes is really fun to use because of the suppressor. You can just mess around with enemies so much because they just have absolutely no clue where you are or what you're doing. And I just love that about this gun. But that's the first weapon. The next weapon we're going to move into, which is ranked number one on the list, and that's because I think this is the best gun in the game, is the MDC. Now this is because it has the highest damage uh, paired with the fastest fire rate. So it technically, other than shotguns, um, for an assault rifle, has the fastest time to kill. Uh, even faster than the FAL, which I know a lot of you think is the best gun in the game. But uh, this does 36 damage, um, and it's a three shot kill. 5 shot minimum, 750 round per minute rate of fire. The only two downsides are the long reload and the high recoil. Now the next one is the F2000. Now this, from here on out, it really isn't in a particular order. Uh, these are just the gu guns that I think are pretty good in the game. Um, but the F2000 has a fast 850 round per minute fire rate. Um, a Again, pretty long reload because it is that bullpup design. Uh, but it does have medium to low recoil. You can you can laser beam people across the map with this gun. Um, unlike the MDC, it does 28 max damage instead of 36. So where the MDC is a 3 to 5 shot kill, this is going to be a 4 to 6 shot kill. But uh, this gun again has good hit fire, better than the MDC um, with its bullpup design. And this weapon is just a really fun gun to use. Uh, love the fire rate. It's tied for the fastest firing assault rifle. Um, paired with the M416, which is uh, up in this class as well. You get quite a few three pieces on this long streak I go on here with bank job with this gun because it just incinerates people uh, with its fire rate. And uh, you can get a lot of headshots too because of how accurate it is. And um, I remember a lot of these weapons are actually uh, DLC guns. So the MDC, the FAL, the F2000, um, three of the guns on this list of uh, the top six and then some honorable mentions are DLC weapons, which is pretty interesting um, considering that actually some of them did come for free, but I know these weapons were not some of the weapons that came for free, sadly. Um, but these ones are just so good, and especially uh, the fact that the uh, F2000 and the MDC are for the medic class is just another advantage because you get that med pack, uh, you can constantly stay on the move up and running, and when you get that extra magazines too, that helps a lot. And the next weapon is the FAL, uh, considered by many the best gun in the game, and uh, for sure in the top three for me. Uh, this one will probably be number two above the F2000 uh, for me personally, um, because this weapon does just absolutely bulldoze people and melt them. Um, I'm not running stock on it right now, which I realized afterwards, um, honestly after I got the gameplay with this, uh, that would have reduced the recoil significantly if I was running that. But uh, sometimes I do run the extended mags uh, just because I can tap fire and I do get the extra rounds in there to help me out. That one, the uh, FAL is a three to five shot kill with 700 round per minute fire rate. And again, the downside is the high recoil. Next are the M416 and the M16A3. I kind of decided to group these together because they're kind of each other's uh, counterbalances, only cops and robbers. Although the M416 is just statistically uh, a little bit better because its fire rate is 50 rounds per minute faster. And I would put this gun in the probably ranked third above the um, F2000 or maybe, yeah, probably above the F2000 because it has such high accuracy and its recoil is less than the F2000. This is all from the same streak that I went on with this gun. Um, you could just, this gun is just so good. Um, I remember from day one, like look at that, I just tapped that guy off a head glitch um, using this freaking weapon. You can just tap fire at medium range, up close, you can go into that full auto 850 round per minute fire rate, which is just so cool. And um, again, this has the fastest fire rate tied with the F2000 at 850 rounds per minute. Um, and again, it has extremely low recoil, uh, making it very good for accuracy. Honestly, this gun and the F2000 are statistically quite similar. I'm pretty sure that this weapon has a slightly faster muzzle velocity, making it better at medium ranges. But 
yeah, that's <laughs> that's pretty much it for the M416, a beast of a weapon, especially if you guys don't have the DLCs. Uh, next is the M16A3. This is a the only difference between this and the M416 is that this has a slightly slower fire rate at 800 rounds per minute, and but it also has less recoil. So if you struggle with the uh, M416's recoil, the M16A3 might be the option for you. Um, this honestly is my personal preference out of the two weapons. I did get this weapon gold um, because I don't know. I just like using the M16A3. I remember uh, it was just so hyped up because it was from Battlefield 3. It was the best gun in Battlefield 3, and a lot of the YouTubers hyped this gun up because it was coming back to Hardline from Battlefield 3. So I kind of hopped on that hype train at the beginning, used it a lot, and then uh, when I was looking at the uh, my kill rankings, I realized this is my highest one, so I wanted to unlock that gold first. Now next is the AKM, which I realize as I'm watching this footage, I'm only about 30 kills away from getting gold, so I might do that in a video. Uh, the AKM is just a classic. It's the only assault rifle other than the MDC uh, that does have a three-shot kill, but its recoil is much less than the MDC's, so you can nail headshots with this weapon pretty easily. Um, and plus, you just have to include the AKM. You have to include some sort of AK in a Tough Guns list because they're usually pretty good in every single video game that they're in. And I was just gunning people with that gun, and it was really fun to use. Again, it's a three to five shot kill. The only downside is the 600 round per minute rate of fire, which is quite slow. Now onto the honorable mentions, which are the SA-58 OSW. That is a battle rifle with an extremely fast muzzle velocity, and it has a pretty fast fire rate uh, to go along with it. Um, this is beat up slightly by the FAL on time to kill, but again, for those of you who don't have the DLCs, uh, this weapon is very good. And up until the FAL came out, many considered this to be the best gun in the game, um, alongside the M16 and the M416. And lastly, we have to throw the K10 in there, just because that gun is a joke up close and can absolutely incinerate people within its four-shot kill range. Um, when it was a three-shot kill up close, that was ridiculous right at launch. Uh, they nerfed that pretty quickly, and now just 33 max damage, but it's still pretty freaking good up close. So if you want a submachine gun to get up close and personal with the enemies, I'd recommend the K10. Again, there are some snipers to throw in here, some pistols to throw in here, but I did a video a while ago talking about the best sniper in the game, and I may do a video in the future talking about the best pistols if you guys really want that. Uh, this video took me a while to make, so don't forget to drop a like down below and comment what you think the best weapons in the game are. But that's what it is for guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.